Fifty years ago, the white-tailed deer almost disappeared from the Smoky Mountain area. Today, it has made a successful comeback, almost too successful. Seeing a white-tailed deer in this pastoral environment is one of nature's simple gifts, but it wasn't always possible. In fact, not long after the formation of the park, deer were so few in number that park officials considered stocking them. If you are a recent visitor to Cades Cove, you know the reverse is now true. Today, the white-tailed deer face a new problem, one of overpopulation. Deer are considered to be a prolific species in that uh, Given the right conditions, they reproduce a lot, and uh, they don't necessarily control their numbers uh, based on how much the habitat will uh, support. And so with this reproduction and, and no uh, compensating factors in the way of predators or any kind of control, then they overpopulate their numbers. The density over there, does that make it success susceptible to disease? Oh, yes, most definitely. In this project that we're doing right now, we're studying uh, uh, most interested in a disease called hemorrhagic disease or blue tongue disease. And uh, there was a die off uh, from that disease back in 1971. Uh, of approximately about 80% 80, 80 of the herd was uh, died during that period. Our main purpose in darting is to get to these animals and draw blood from them so that we can analyze the blood for a presence of the disease that we're studying. And now we're gonna go ahead and draw some blood from them. When we take it back to the lab, we'll uh, analyze the red blood cells for the actual presence of the virus that we're studying. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and try to age them. You cannot age them from the size of their antlers or their weight or the number of points on their antlers or anything like that. It's the most reliable method is just based on the amount of tooth wear. This is a, a six-pointer? Yeah, this is what's called a six-pointer in the east. And he, they used to, used to fight with? And, uh... Yeah, they'll spar with them. Uh, you'll see, generally, you'll see the, the smaller bucks doing most of the sparring and uh, trying to you know, get dominance and stand feeling their own way through the, through the group, whereas the more dominant bucks generally don't have to spar very much. They just bluff their, bluff their way into the dominance. One, two. The white-tailed deer, for most of us, is a symbol of a wilderness restored, of a balance, delicate and natural, of a wildness that must be respected.